Greetings, everyone. Deuteronomy 3 and 8 says, The Lord goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Moses spoke these words to Joshua as he prepared to lead the Israelites into the promised land. These words are true for us today. This is a new year, and we're looking forward to new experiences and happier times. Yet the fact remains that we're still burdened with the coronavirus, financial hardships, broken families, homelessness, racial injustices, disasters, and diseases. But take heart. We still have a God who loves and cares about us, despite any condition that we find ourselves in. We stumble, we fall, we get frustrated, yet God continues to love us and to meet our every need. Think about all the times you have been in trouble and he showed up for you. Our God is omnipotent. God does not come to our rescue, excuse me, God does come to our rescue in the form of Jesus the Christ and the Holy Spirit. We can look to the Bible for many examples of God's servants who had to call on him for help and strength. We remember Moses, David, Paul, Mary and Martha, and even Jesus himself called on God. In his time, God always shows up. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, God is leading and guiding us today. We are not alone. What have you endured this past year? Sickness, financial instability, unanswered prayers, doors of opportunity that you wanted to open but stayed closed, even the death of a loved one. Through it all, God was with you. He was sitting at the table when you opened that bill that said final notice. He was with you when you opened that email that said you didn't get the job. And he was beside you when you got that phone call that said you had lost a loved one. No matter how hard last year, last week, or yesterday was, God was with you and he blessed you to get through it. You are here today in this new year and God is with you. Hebrews 13 and 5 says, God promises never to leave us nor forsake us and reassures us in Romans 8 and 35 that nothing can separate us from the love of Christ Jesus our Lord, not even death. God is great and he is always with us and looking out for our good. Our prayer should be, thank you, Lord, for bringing us into the knowledge that nothing will ever separate us from your love. When I draw near to you, you draw near to me, giving me comfort and strength. In Jesus' name, amen.